In addition to large-scale conventional warfare, there were also numerous special operations during World War II, including several instances of special operations involving midget submarines. These operations included the unsuccessful attack on Pearl Harbor, as well as the successful attack on the British fleet in Alexandria. However, in terms of overall performance and service, the British X-Class Midget Submarine should be considered one of the most outstanding models. The idea of developing midget submarines in the UK existed before World War II, but at that time, most officers and soldiers did not have a positive view of midget submarines, mainly because they did not know how to position them. The direct reason for changing the mainstream view of the Royal Navy was the threat from the German battleship Tirpitz. Most military enthusiasts are familiar with this Northern Queen battleship, and its sister ship, the Bismarck, made the British Royal Navy nervous. Even Churchill, who was born in the Navy, wrote in his diary, This is a terrible warship. With the lessons learned from the Bismarck, Britain was determined to eliminate the Tirpitz, while the Germans tried their best to protect this warship and use it to restrain the British Navy. What troubled Britain was that the Tirpitz was always very cautious in its operations and could hardly find an opportunity to engage in a cannon battle with it on the high seas. The early airstrikes were also not ideal. At this time, the plan to use midget submarines for special operations was approved. The X-Class midget submarine was developed under the leadership of Cromwell Hanford Wally. After the mission requirements for attacking the Tirpitz were clarified in 1942, the development progress was accelerated. The prototype was tested and six formal models, X-5 to X-10, were built in the same year. There were also temporary models with different technologies before X-5. This is a fully functional midget submarine with a surface displacement of 27 tons, a submerged displacement of 30 tons, a length of 16 meters, and a draft of 1.6 meters. There are no divided compartments inside the submarine. The main propulsion of the X submarine is a 42 horsepower four-cylinder diesel engine from a bus, which can provide a maximum speed of 6.5 knots on the water surface and a maximum range of 600 nautical miles. Underwater, it is driven by a 30-horsepower electric motor with a maximum range of 80 nautical miles at a speed of 2 knots. Instead of using deck guns or torpedoes, the submarine is equipped with two large-sized bombs attached to both sides of the hull, each weighing 2 tons. These bombs are used to secretly enter the harbor and attack the moored ships. They are released under the target's hull, and timed fuses are set. Although the bombs do not directly hit the target, the large amount of explosives and the action of seawater are enough to severely damage large warships if one is successfully detonated. Initially, the submarine was planned to have only three crew members, the captain, the helmsman, and the mechanic. Later, a diver was added, who could directly enter the water from a small airtight chamber installed inside the submarine to perform simple underwater tasks. The submarine can also be equipped with sonar, radio, and other equipment, or store oxygen cylinders to increase the diving time. The submarine has sufficient power, but the air volume severely affects the diving time. The X-Class Midget Submarine is mainly supported by motherships, usually T-Class or S-Class conventional submarines. The mothership tows the X-Submarine forward with ropes, floats to the surface in the designated area, transfers personnel to the X-Submarine, and then independently carries out the mission. Generally, one mothership can tow up to three X-Submarines. After the X-Submarine completes the mission, it returns to the designated area and meets up with the mothership, and then is towed back to the port. After training, these midget submarines did not carry out their first operation until September 1943. Six submarines were deployed, targeting the Tirpitz battleship in a northern Norwegian port. Although two submarines were unable to participate in the battle due to rope breakage during the march, and some were sunk during the operation, the operation was still very successful. Two ex-submarines successfully placed bombs under the keel of the Tirpitz, and the huge explosion caused the battleship to sink to the bottom of the sea, paralyzed for nearly eight months. 
Although there were losses, in early 1944, the British supplemented their combat capabilities with six X-Class midget submarines originally used for training, X-20 to X-25. In April 1944, the ex-submarines participated in an operation to attack a German shipyard, all aimed at continuing to paralyze the Tirpitz. However, there was no need to deal with the Tirpitz anymore, as the British already had tall boy heavy aerial bombs. In addition to active attack missions, the X-class midget submarines also participated in Operation Pluto. They mainly carried divers and echo detection equipment to explore hydrological characteristics and collect soil samples outside the landing beaches, and even the divers landed on Omaha Beach. After the landing battle began, the midget submarines also assisted the landing forces in reaching the correct beaches. Although they did not directly participate in frontline combat, their role was crucial. After the war, these midget submarines lost their usefulness and had little remaining value. Currently, only one X-24 submarine is preserved in a museum.